Hey, what's going on YouTube? All right, so today we're back here with uh, another review and unboxing. And today we're gonna take a look at Orange Piccolo, Masterly's Ichiban Kuji Dragon Ball vs. Omnibust Beast. Um, and real quick, you know, before I forget, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like, and if you're enjoying the content, leave a comment below. If you got any questions, do the same as well. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the, uh, the box art real quick. So that's the front. Um, here's the side. Here's the back. Here's his pose. Can't wait to check him out. And don't forget to look for that uh, Toei sticker, just so you know that it's not a fake. But yeah, man, so this guy came out back in, um, I think it was May 5th of this year. And, uh, you know, I've had him already for like a month, I think now, or a month and a half. I just haven't had a chance to uh, take him out. But we're going to go ahead and uh, pop him out the box and let's see how he looks. Alrighty, so here he is right out the box. And uh, we were first introduced to Piccolo's new form in um, June 11th of 2022 uh, with the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Uh, he has Dende for a new power up. He couldn't do it, so he had a Shenron. And this is what he got. Uh, he gets like a light green form before this one. And um, yeah, so uh, I think he he first introduced us to this form when he was getting beat down by Gamma 2. I think if it's not Gamma 2, maybe Gamma 1. But yeah, this is when we first saw that form. And uh, we were all like, holy crap, finally Piccolo got a new uh, power up that looks badass. Hopefully he could withstand uh, Super Saiyan Blue or these other new powerful villains that are coming in the future. Or if you guys read the uh, the um, the uh, the anime and uh, who's introduced without spoilers, I'm not gonna say anything if you guys have been avoiding it. But yeah, hopefully this is just not a uh, throwaway form, just like some other forms that we've seen in the past. But we'll see. It's to be determined, right? But yeah, so um, I measured Piccolo to uh, 10 and a half inches tall. And also I gotta say Bandai Namco, you guys did an excellent job with this Piccolo form. Uh, well, not form, right, but sculpt. And uh, the paint job, the shading, the lightness. I'm gonna say this is the best Piccolo to date. But I do need a better size Piccolo, just like his regular form. Um, I haven't seen if there's any new ones out there. Again, I'm busy just with my job, so I gotta look around. Um, but yeah, this is the best one with this new form. The, he looks just, he looks amazing. Um, to me, the eyebrows kind of remind me of Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He's jacked. Um, love the shading right here in his, uh, his arms. How it's just like dark orange compared to his like lighter orange right here. Orangey yellow. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at him real quick. As you can see walking with purpose to go beat down on cell max um you got shading in the back down into his lower legs and in the front like i said so yeah man if you guys uh, are interested in him i'm gonna leave a description in the link below so you guys can pick him up but yeah let's go ahead and uh, compare him to the other guys and see how they stand up Alrighty guys, so that'll conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. 
share it with the closest friend or family member that loves Dragon Ball. I'm pretty sure they'll enjoy this content. And uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.